A new model for majority voting in classification ensembles, a work presented at NIPS 2016. In this work, we propose a classical urn model of majority voting in classification ensembles. Consider an urn containing big T marbles of all different colors. The content of the urn can be described by vector big T, where each component is the number of marbles of the corresponding color. The process of extracting marbles from the urn without replacement can be described by small t vectors where each component is the number of extracted marbles of the corresponding colors. Now considering the following classical urn problems. Problem 1. Suppose we have t marbles in the urn with a given color distribution. For instance, 7 marbles, 5 black, 2 white. Where is the probability of extracting without replacement a given number of marbles? This probability is given by the hypergeometric distribution. Problem 2. Suppose we know the total number of marbles in the urn, but we don't know their color distribution. Now we start the extraction process without replacement from the urn. The question we can pose us now is, what is the color distribution probability of the urn big T after observing a color distribution small t? We can apply the bias rule to get this probability as the equivalence of majority voting in ensembles of classifiers and this last urn problem is as follows. Marbles are equivalent to base classifiers in the ensemble. Given an instance to classify and assuming deterministic classifiers, the marble colors are equivalent to the class outputs of the classifiers. If we extract at random the classifiers from the ensemble, both processes are equivalent. And we can pose the following question. What is the probability that the class given by a partial tally of votes, small t, and by the full ensemble coincide? This is given by the following formula where the outer sum goes over all possible big t outcomes compatible with the observed small t and that produce the same classification of the observed small t. This result can be used to get faster decisions. In the investigated datasets, we obtain a classification speed-up factor between 2.8 and 101 times with no significant variation in the classification error. In addition, Monte Carlo simulation can be used to predict the average number of classifiers that will be used during test. More details at NIPS 2016. See you in Barcelona.